Hello and welcome to a special edition of Tech News Week. Today we're going to be discussing microphones and what the best microphones they could possibly use in Hangouts, Skype calls, even uh, even podcasting. Today, my name is Joseph Nisser. I'm going to be your moderator today. And uh, on our panel today, we have uh, very special people of interest. We've got Bruce Turner, who have uh, who have uh, who's also known as the Bishop of Tech and our very very popular hangout, Tech and Coffee. We have uh, Duke Carrico, who uh, well, needless to say, he's our pretty boy in the room. You know, uh, we've got uh, Jeff uh, Zehas, all the way from uh, West Coast, and uh, he definitely knows how to keep uh, things uh, jiggy with it. And of course, we've got the uh, the famous uh, Linux guru that is uh, the the, uh, the wonderful Father George Dosher. Uh, hello, guys, and uh, welcome uh, to our special edition here. Um, Good evening. Reason, Great to be here. Yeah. Well, the reason why we're having to uh, to uh, come together today was well, you guys know from my, our first three episodes, I had this really awesome uh, headset. Uh, it was a Turtle Beach X12. And uh, I had this wonderful voice, but uh, I had a little problem with it. Not really the headset, but uh, it was a problem with my audio card. And uh, I had this wonderful voice. It was great. It was wonderful. And uh, it just didn't work out the way it was planned. Uh, so right now I am looking for a new headset that can come close to, you know, you know, being able to do a podcast with you guys. So uh, I've done some research. I've got a couple of questions I wanted to ask you. And I was hoping you guys can help me out and figure out what's the best um, – headset or or things that I can possibly choose. I've read a couple of things and I'm kind of curious what's the best thing for you. Uh, now what I'm going to have here is Larry. Now Larry's going to be muted for a while and uh, when he does uh, come in he's going to be my approver. He's going to help me uh, choose a, a microphone that might best suit my, my needs. So Larry if you don't mind just mute and I'll, you'll, you'll, you'll know when you need to uh, to uh, approve or not approve. Guys, this is Larry Petrie. This is the man right here. This guy, he, he knows what it is with, with the ladies, and uh, he knows how to get involved with the tech people. With the tech people. He, he is our socialite right here. So um, that's why I'm having you mute, Larry, because I know when you start talking, everyone starts following. So just, just hold off. You know. All right, Larry. Um, so I do have a couple of questions, guys. I, I, I learned a couple of, of uh, terminologies, and Hopefully you guys can help me out. Um, I've heard, you know, right now everyone tends to get either using a, an internal laptop mic or or even one of those cheap three dollar headsets. Do they work? Yes or no? Yes, they work. But is it what the quality? Because you have such a nice voice, Joseph. You want to have that nice voice come through the Hangout. So yeah, they all work. But to to what degree? Okay. Uh, I heard a couple of terminologies. Uh, cardioid. Bidirectional, omnidirectional. What, what's all that? How does that apply to me? Bruce, you yeah. want to take that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Joseph, we're here for you, brother. We want we want you to be we want you to sound the very best that you can, and we want a microphone that 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 kind of goes along with uh, this well coiffed beard and that you have. So uh, anyway, microphone. There are two basic technologies. One is called dynamic microphones and the other is called condenser microphones. Condenser microphones usually require some sort of a preamp or power in order for them to work. Probably the most well-known dynamic microphone in the world is a Shure SM58. It's been used by a lot of vocalists and a lot of different bands over the years. Uh, condenser microphones, you, you, you see these in a lot of radio stations, whether they're using a, a Rhodes Procaster or e, EV uh, you know, type of a microphone, and they're usually long, tubular microphones. Some of them are side address. Some of them you just talk down the tube. Uh, condenser microphones are really sensitive. Uh, if, if you're if in a radio station, if they're using a condenser microphone, you've seen radio stations where the studio's got a lot of soft padding on the walls that's to kind of dead in the room because the condenser microphone will pick up a lot of extra room noise whereas dynamic microphones kind of have a, a little tighter pattern and then uh, with the omnidirectional unidirectional uh, you know bidirectional cardioid pattern that really speaks about 
the sound area around the microphone itself, a cardioid pattern. If I were to let, um, if I were to let the spoon represent the microphone, a cardioid pattern would go somewhere out like this, around, down, and then back up again. Omnidirectional is, is as it suggests, it records sound from all over. So uh, if I've got something making noise on the other side, it's picking it up. If I've got something on the right, it's picking up, or the left, or behind, or whatever. Um, and then unidirectional, of course, has got a little tighter focus. Uh, and then there's some that will do stereo left and right and things like that. But those are the basic things about microphones as far as their basic styles and how they pick up. OK. Um, are you well, more for, confused now? I, I, you, well, no, no. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, 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 I'm taking it all in, you know. So, so from what you're saying is, I'm, I'm a guy who all he just wants to do is either talk on Skype, or, or go, go into a Google Hangout. Or even if I want to do a little bit of podcasting, but let's go just for the basic stuff. I'm in front of my computer right now, and I want to just talk me to my loved ones. How you doing? Um, what is it? So you're saying that I really the omnidirectional or the bidirectional isn't the way to go because it might pick out ambient noises either off the wall or or from people that are in the room. You don't necessarily want to to have that. Is I think that, you have to. I think you have to look at your connection as well. Oh, right? that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't you know, because that. what is your connection? Is it a a 3.5 little mic that goes into your um, you know like those little lavalier mics or is it a USB mic or do you want to get a mixer and an XLR mic? Um, so there are different, based on your hardware, there's also a kind of like a set of requirements. Maybe Duke can chime in on that one. Or not. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, okay, uh, cool. I, right, and, and Joe, I, I just want to add, we, we want you to sound as good as you looked, okay? I oh, want you to thank really you so know that we want you to sound as good as you look. <laughs> you, you just, you just, you just, <laughs> thanks, no, brother. Uh, <laughs> exactly uh, how you doing? You know, uh, this is honest truth. This is honest truth, Joe. I, I did. I, I thought your uh, your Turtle Beach uh, headset mic. I thought it sounded awesome, okay? And uh, uh, you know, I, I, I guess. Before we get into talking about what kind of mic, I guess let's talk about how you're going to use it because you've mentioned podcasting. Uh, basically, uh, you're using your computer from the room that you're in probably, I'm going to say, 90, 95% of the time. Is that accurate? That That is accurate. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, I'm using this microphone right now, which is like a tube-based uh Headset. It's kind of like kind of the stuff that uh, call centers use all the time. So, the call, the clarity mm -hmm. of the voice quality, it, it's okay. I think it's pretty decent. It's not the greatest, but it does for what I need. And because I also work, well, you know, during the day while I might be in a Skype call and a hangout, this works for me while I'm working because I have to have another headset mm -hmm. to talk to my customers or to my boss or whoever I might need to be, and I still have this free to go. So that's why I like this over-the-ear headset. It's very lightweight. It's very free. But when I want to do something that's a little bit more private, more isolated, being able to take out the extra background noise, that's where I think I need something a little bit nice, a little bit uh, up, to, up up scale. Um, I do. I work off of a laptop, and this laptop that I have just has a have a weird driver issue where, if I do use the internal audio, where I actually have the you know the the three and a half inch jack or the two and a half inch jack, whatever size that is, where I plug it in. It does some weird things with it does noise bleeds if I if I get a you know a, a voice call or, or whatever that comes off my laptop. So it just makes it unacceptable as what happened in our incident in our, our last episode of Tech News Week where all of a sudden you heard you know you heard the editing of, of uh, that YouTube video of our own plan giving all that feedback. So um, well I do like that old Turtle Beach headset. It gave a great sound and I really loved it. My own hardware issues made it on a uh, on a unappealing. So, and this is where I'm needing something more. I like to be mobile. That's why I like the headset. But from what I'm reading, the headsets just don't work out if you're trying to do something nice like a podcast. Well, let me let me comment on the headset. The reason you had problems with your with your internal audio card is because the headset you were using had th uh, three three point five millimeter jacks on them. You can get a wireless headset, um, and this this is a wireless headset. 
wireless headsets, uh, you know, like this one is a behind the ears. So I can put this behind the ears. It's very comfortable. I don't have to worry about it, you know, messing up my hair. And I know how sensitive you are about your hair, Joseph. You can get one of these that goes over the top of your head, and this makes you look like you did with the Turtle Beach, you know. Mm -hmm. The other thing is when you're using a headset, whether it's wireless, and both of those that I just demonstrated are wireless headsets. So if you wanted ultimate mobility, you know, you could take something like this, and you could, uh, you could go to the kitchen make yourself another pot of coffee. One of the things with these headsets you need to keep in mind is the placement of the microphone. I see a lot of people will place the microphone up between their you know, around their, their, between their upper lip and their nose, and what happens, you get a lot of air coming out the nostrils. The best placement for a, a microphone like this on a headset is just right along your jawline. That mm -hmm. way you don't get a whole lot of uh, wind noise from your mouth or from your... Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty good right there. Yeah, let me just... So, yeah. yeah, so, but if, if you're looking at uh, headsets, the, the two best brands, if you want an all-in-one type headset, in my mind, are Logitech and Plantronics. If you watch a lot of the Twit broadcasts, some of them, yeah, I know that's a Plantronic that's that you got there. And um, so that, you know, that's the headsets. Now, you know, we can, uh, Duke, I think you had a headset you were going to show, but, you know, we can get into mics. But I prefer a mic rather than uh, a headset with a built-in microphone, although a Logitech or Plantronic will do you a good mm -hmm. job. Okay. Uh, Duke, you were going to add something? Well, I was just going to say this is uh, the Logitech H800. I haven't had it long. It's a it's a great versatile headset. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the mic quality is lacking. I didn't realize till we did uh, like the first uh, episode of Tech News Week, mm -hmm. just uh, how uh, tinny uh, AM radio sounding this microphone is. I, I mm -hmm. love the headset. I really do. And like Bruce was talking about, it's really nice for me to uh, uh, be in a hangout and my dogs need to go outside. And I don't have to leave the conversation. I might leave the camera, but I don't have to leave the conversation. Oh, so that, that there is an advantage there. But, but with all of that said, I just don't think the mic quality is what it ought to be. In fact, uh, I, think, uh, I think we can set up to where we can demo like a, a webcam mic versus uh, uh, some other mics. Uh, I, I think my webcam mic actually sounds better than the microphone on this wireless headset. Well, you, you brought up actually a very good point, too. There, there are a lot of people who tend to buy certain headsets for Google Plus and, and Google Hangouts and, and, and various other things. So um, we got, uh, happen to have a lot of gurus who like to test out things, and we have the most popular stuff. Uh, in this room. I've got a Plantronics 2 mic. You guys can hear me uh, speak. Um, we don't have a, a cheap $10 headset, although if you want me to turn on my uh, internal laptop headset, I'm sure you can hear this weird sound of a bus going by. We're not going to do that. Right? We're just not going to try. Um, but um, people tend to use either a wireless headset, a wired he uh, headset, mm -hmm. um, a webcam mic, or um, the three most popular uh, mics that I've been hearing out there a uh, a uh, a blue yeti, a uh, blue snowball, and the ATR2100 uh, in terms of mics. And uh, with the ATR2100, that also does XLR. Is that correct, Bruce? That's correct. Yeah. So one thing I wanted to try because I know it uses a mixer, but it's also a USB. So I want to see the differences between using that 2100 with a mixer and not a mixer. Uh, and uh, and uh, we'll take a check out the quality of that C910, see how we like it. I know a lot of people use it, and that gives a lot of our viewers an idea of what they might want. Um, a lot of people like to use the webcam. It's quick. It's portable. It gives you much better quality than your typical built-in laptop or even desktop uh, hardware, and it gives you a little bit edge. But is it better or the same or worse than getting one of these um, these other mics? I mean, obviously, we're not getting a professional studio mic, but something good enough for podcasting. So, um, well, who, who do you who would like to start? I'll go, I'll go ahead and start. Okay. <coughs> uh, which one are you going to demo, uh, Bruce? Okay. Well, I'll start off with the ATR2100, and uh, I'll demo it in both an XLR through the mixer fashion and as a straight USB microphone. The XLR2100 is by Audio-Technica. It comes with a very nice um, uh, tripod stand. 
Uh, the other thing about the uh, ATR2100 is it's not only XLR, but it is also USB, mm -hmm. and it has a, a, a jack on the bottom where you could actually plug a set of earbuds in there. This is a sound card all in and of itself, so this will do both mic and, and speaker. That's a right pretty now, I'm, there, Bruce. Um, how is that for traveling? Can you travel with that? Or? Oh, it travels great. The, the, the little tripod folds up, and uh, it, I travel, you know, I spend one week a month in Florida on business, and it travels really well. So I happen to be using it with a muff. It has a, has a really good um, pop filter built into it. But this yeah. is the ATR2100 going through a mixer using the XLR card. Bruce, you're going to have to help me out here. I think I'm getting terminology mixed up. What is a muff exactly? Because I have something that I don't think you're implying. Okay. <laughs> a muff <laughs> is the little foam rubber piece that slides. Uh, it's not what you wear in the wintertime to keep oh. your ears warm. It, oh, you oh that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, go, it yeah. goes on the microphone to help reduce the pops, okay? Or, or the, the technical word is plosives, as in explosives. Like if I say... Peter picked a pipe of pickled peppers, or you say B words like big ball bouncing down the bumbly road, you know, those types of things. Okay, okay. So that, that, that really helps out there. Now I'm going to make a little switch uh, in, the, in the Hangout, and I'm, I'm, the next words you hear are going to be coming through the same microphone, mm -hmm. but not through the XLR and the mixer, but simply through uh, plugging it into USB. <laughs> all right. The change. Now I'm talking on the same microphone. Probably doesn't sound all that much different, but it's just USB, so okay. I don't need to have a mixer. I can just plug this microphone in. It's plug and play. It has nothing to do with the internal sound card on your laptop or desktop. It's just okay. its own sound device. Now, one thing I was a little bit concerned about, Bruce, um, a lot of people say that they prefer using a mixer because it takes the load off the PC as opposed to uh, you know just plugging that USB driver directly in there, making the computer work that much harder. In case of a spike in your PC CPU utilization, does the sound quality ever change when you have it plugged in via USB? Uh, no. In fact, when I travel, sometimes I leave the mixer at home. The microphone works fine. Mm. It doesn't increase my CPU usage at all. It's its own driver. It's not using a driver that's uh, in, in the PC. So, you know, it works out, works out fine for me. So, so that's the ATR2100. You've heard it uh, going through the mixer and an XLR cable. And by the way, in case people don't know, this is an XLR connection right here that I'm holding up. That's the same kind of connection that would plug into the bottom of the, H, of the ATR2100 and go into the mixer. Mm -hmm. And then I, I also uh, have the Blue Yeti. But it might be good to switch uh, to Jeff and let him demonstrate. He's got two microphones as well. Now, now, before we do that, Larry, what's your opinion here? Yay or nay? Is that kind of flatter compared to what he had? Because he was talking with the ACR 2100 with a mixer earlier. Does it sound flatter for you? A little bit flatter? Okay. I wasn't sure. I don't know. Maybe it was just my imagination. So I just want to get your opinion. I know you're the man. You're always about, you know... Uh, top quality, you know, uh, ways of impressing, you know, your audience. So, so yeah, okay. So I, I just want to get that yeah. point across. So it, 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 there's a slight change, not much, but there is a little bit of a change, and uh, and I do, and that's a concern that I'm going to bring up in a later uh, later on. Excuse me. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Bru uh, Jeff. Did you say you were going to? Well, that? I, did you want to go down the line, or you want me to go? Next, I can go next. Um, go however way you guys want to do it, uh, you know, you, you guys tell me what do you think I should get. So. Um, and well, if I have any um, questions, I'll ask. All right. All right just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leverage up what Bruce said. Okay, I have okay. A, the blue microphone, which is made by a Snowball. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like a small looks like a Snowball softball size. Okay, and then remember you were talking about the different uh, settings on the back. This actually has those settings with the cardioid. Um, so when I switch it over, you'll hear a different sound pickup based on what I set it at. Are, are you talking right now in the snowball oh, with the snowball yeah, there, Bruce? I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Jeff. I apologize. Yeah. So that's a different. And so these are the different carthoid settings that Bruce was talking about. Oh so wow, I that got a little bit louder there. I heard the difference. So it's picking up more noise. It's not as refined. So it does have that in it. I personally bought it uh, for podcasting, actually, and um, I'm not a big fan of it. You know, now that I have a mixer. I'm kind of um, more on the mixer side. I do have another microphone here. It's Audio Technica. I'll switch over to that. 
that's going through a mixer. And let me just switch over to that in one second here. And now that is coming through the audio technica through the mixer, which might sound a little bit more robust because of the sound. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm hearing a total difference there because I'm hearing a little bit of uh, feedback or background noise. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it's just, just by happenstance, your audio settings, but it, you know, I hear a big difference between that and, and that snowball there. You're hearing the background noise from my, my wife in the other room? Is that what that is? I'm hearing a whishing sound. No, that's coming from the hangout, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think it's nice. coming from George, actually. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, there's no sound now. I'm sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Continue. That's Maybe, fine. Okay, let's, tell you what, can we, can we switch back so our audience can, can listen in on that blue snowball? Because with that okay. feedback, I was totally thrown off by it. I was like, wow, this is the snowball that everyone raves about? Okay, so here... Now we're we're back to the snowball. Okay. All right. And uh, at the setting number one, which is the more condensed setting. So is that okay. the one where it's just what unidirectional? Is that the condenser? I, I believe so. And then here's okay. the setting number two, which I think is a little wider. Okay. It's now, which one is that one? Is that the bi-direction? Is that like you and another person in the room, or is that? That's I think a bigger. As Bruce was saying, that would be the bigger. The bigger sphere, okay, and, okay. Then here's, and this would be the omnidirectional, which is a even bigger, supposedly. But so, the downside to the omnidirectional is that it'll pick up everything in the room. Is that is that? Yeah, correct? it will pick up more background noise. Correct. Okay, I see. All right, and then um, I like I said, I, I I got this for podcasting. It was like I think about fifty, sixty dollars. It's USB. It's USB powered, but I thought it was a little bit low actually in terms of sound the sound coming out, the volume of the sound. Um, so that was my personal opinion. And it's a little bit more restricted. So um, I'm going to switch over to the mixer uh, XLL, XLR Mixer Audio-Technica mic, which okay. is just your basic mic. All right. So now this is coming through this other Audio-Technica mic. Oh, that sounds much deeper. It's very, you know, radio well, That's because I try to emulate Bruce with my... With my with my EQ, I load no one up. Can, can, you know, yeah, beat that to, sound. I want to get a little more manly. Look at this. I got the guns. <laughs> so, um, so that was that's. I, I like the mixer because the mixer gives you more options, you know. Mm -hmm. And but there's an, another thing. There's two other things I'd like to talk about, and then we'll turn it over to Duke. Um, this is called an icicle, right? right? And this is made by Blue Microphones again. And you can buy. An, well, there's a lot of a lot of different copies out there, or, or different devices that do this. And basically what it does is takes that XLR connection and turns it into a USB connection. So okay. that kind of gives you the, the, the if you have, are, have an existing XLR mic and you just want to bring it into your laptop, you know, this is a way that you could do this because this has gain on it and it can actually power that microphone. Hmm. Uh, so that's kind of, and then if you want to, you know, talk about, you know, your webcam mics, I, we can Duke can show the uh, the webcam mics. As yeah, well. I will have Duke. Yeah, Duke's got the Logitech C910. Uh, but before we go to Duke, uh, more, a couple of questions about that snowball. Um, that's all USB. That's not like the ATR2100 where it does XLR and USB. Correct. Is that correct? Okay. And it's strictly USB, which is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, you run into the problems of, uh, on my PC, you know, you can only, well, I, I have a, a setup that allows me to have a lot of cameras, right? So, but I run out of USB ports and the, yeah. how you can power it, right? So yeah. one thing about the mixer, if you want to bring in different audio um, sources, the mixer would allow you to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's still going through the same USB connection into your, if you have a USB mixer. So that has, there's a lot of advantages to the mixer XLR mic just versus mm -hmm. strictly USB. Does, Especially does if you're doing a podcast and you want to pull in music or mm -hmm. something. It, like what Duke did with the, earlier in the show, he brought in that, that video clip via his mixer, it came through. Mm -hmm. Does uh, it have uh, any uh, advantages with the Snowball if you use the power USB hub? Does it improve the sound quality, anything like that? Does it, you know? No, I, I, don't, think it, I don't think it did. Um, what it did do is when my PC didn't have enough power to, to um, power all my devices, a powered hub gave me the ability to add an, another device because okay. I just didn't have the, you know, the 
this impedance to drive it, right? Mm -hmm. So the powered hub actually did it. And the, the other thing that it does allow you to do is obviously you can transverse a greater distance with a USB powered mm -hmm. hub because you can make that a longer connection. Mm -hmm. So it's, now I know that. Uh, th well, does it come with any software? Is there any special software? I know that no, none. no software it's at all. If it's plug and play with Windows. It just that's a real advantage. A, I like that. I, I know just by research that the Snowball, because of how popular it is, also works on uh, Mac as as well as Linux. Um, Yes, it does. Uh, so because does it's the, the standard audio drivers that it's mm -hmm. using. It's there's no, but they, there's a disadvantage. Again, if you want to boost up the audio, if you think it's low, right, for any reason, you won't be able to do it if it, if the Windows software has it, you know, already set to the highest boost level with 10 decibels. That's it. You're done. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't you, you can't go to number 11, right? There's no uh, there's no number 11. It's always going to mm -hmm. be 10. Larry, what do you think? Uh, snowball, does that kind of sound lower compared to uh, Jeff's uh, a uh, ATR? Yeah, a little bit. Is it kind of flatter, or because definitely it's much deeper the other the other mic? Do Do you think it's the mixer that makes it makes the difference, being able to adjust a little bit, or or do you think the mixer just makes it a little bit richer? Yeah. Yeah. Now we, I did talk a little bit about you know the snowball and the mixers and. All the other stuff and compatibility is also a concern for some people. They might be using a Mac or they might be using Linux. Uh, George, I know that you're using Linux right now, and I think you also have the ATR2100. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct. I, I like, um, just like Jeff, uh, we have uh, almost the same equipment. I have the ATR21. I mean, in fact, we do the ATR2100 as well as the Elisis Multi Mix 8 mixer. We have literally the same mixer and the same mic. Um, I think that whooshing noise you had heard is I have another mic hooked up, which is a Natty SP5, um, straight out XLR. Um, but uh, it's just it, it, this this mic seems to be the choice mic of Tech and Coffee. I must say it's uh, uh, it was mentioned plug. by Bruce, and then uh, we were in an audio show one weekend, and Duke kept mentioning it in the chat and. I just broke down. I said, you know, that's excellent, Mike. I got to go get it. I, I think you're trying to influence me there, George. Are you trying to tell me that uh, a lot of people get in the ATR 2100? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm going to tell you it's probably the most versatile mic out of all the mics here um, uh -huh. th that have been, you know, more or less discussed. I, I'm Snowball does mm -hmm. sound good, but I, I'll tell you, uh, I'm going to he. Jeff has, uh, he doesn't have the uh, ATR2100, but he also has an Audio-Technica mic, and it sounds excellent as well. I mean, it's probably a way more expensive mic than this, but bang for the buck, best mic on the market. Mike. Okay. Now, George, I've actually listened to you because you actually don't live that far away from me. I was able to listen to your voice, and, and I've actually met, got a chance to meet Bruce in real life, and for the most part, your microphones really do sound like you guys. I mean, but it just adds this extra, you know, clarity that uh, makes that you know your voices rise up, um, you know, uh, when 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 those 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 moments arise. And I really like that. But I do hear a little bit of a difference between how, you know, how well you come up to the challenge there, Bruce, versus you know how you were able to to you know to well, withstand. Well, I could, too, I could sound like this. No, that's true. Yeah. So, so is it a mixer thing? I I noticed you've got two mix. I think you guys have different mixers. Is that correct? I mean, we we, we do. Yeah. And let me let me tell you one of the differences. I mean, first of all, you're born with the voice that you have. So, <laughs> if you can enhance it in any way with a mixer or what, but there's a thing called proximity, and <laughs> every microphone is designed to be used within a certain proximity. It's called the proximity effect. So I'm now talking you to you through the ATR2100, and I'm about about three to four inches away from the microphone. As soon as I get off axis over here, the proximity effect changes. I lose it. If I go way back here and I'm talking up here, it sounds different. <laughs> a microphone is designed to be used with the right proximity. And, and I will guarantee you that if Jeff would have gotten closer to that snowball, the snowball would have performed better than what it did from the distance that he, that he was at. So proximity is important. <laughs> Okay, I I feel we need a rebuttal. Come on, Jeff. Come on, can you rebut this? <coughs> My name is Brother Bruce. No, I. You know, I mean, it's here. I am. I, you know, I got it right here. I am. 
I am I'm holding it like You're a caressing. cup of coffee, like a Tekken coffee. Ho- exactly. So, so that's a little you know, more than a cup of coffee. I don't, I don't know if this uh, is yeah. better or not. So I and I don't like speaking right into the mic. I I don't know why. I like that's why it's off to the side. But um, you notice. When you're right in there, though, Jeff, I noticed that it sounded really freaking bassy and, and, and nice. That sounded really good. Yeah, when you moved you, about don't three be going there. I'm away. Sticking, I'm sticking with the really mixer, good. man. Can, can you get your mouth right on top of that? Let's just <laughs> no, because you're going to do a screen print. That's what you're going to do. No, 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 because your banner's picture, in the way. No, we wouldn't no, do that. No, your no. banner's in the way, so, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, no, but, you know, I, okay. again, you know, you know, Bruce is right. You know, it's how you want to use it, so... Um, I I would like to compensate with you know uh, on the mixer side by upping the 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 yeah. the the volume a little bit because I don't like this I don't like this I don't like to talk like this I don't you know I'm I mm. like talking like this so that's yeah, a, you can, that's you can increase the gain you can adjust the equalizer to get a little more of that bassy sound that you lose yeah. with the proximity uh, yeah but no you can't because Jeff just told me it's a USB device and you can't adjust it as easily as you can as a mixer is that am I right yes yeah, so that's what they, that's what Bruce can. is saying oh well. can if you um, the, uh, the mixer I, I don't know I, oh I yeah I, I, I'm doing the that mixer, we have the exact same mixer of course yeah. there's headsets and everything up here but you might notice that like these these right here are equalizers. This is the actual panel that my mic's on, and I, I can adjust my voice just by playing with these. Okay. And, and that's what I'm. That's why I'm not in front of the mic right now. You don't even see the mic in my camera view, really, right? Yeah. And I made that compensation because this is how I like to talk. Well, okay. Yeah, Larry, what are you thinking? Are you are you thinking that uh, that Jeff needs to like speak more up to it, or do you think it's just kind of a yeah, he needs to speak more up into it? Okay. Well, but but you guys should bring it very See, that's too close, right? But it sounds better when you're right up to it. I, I don't know what it is, but when you're up on that, it's like I don't know. Just put your mouth right into it. Just say you should. No, be no, 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 no. Again, you know, this is not how I'm going about operating my life here, buddy. Okay. <laughs> no, well, that, well, see, that not, was I'm my not concern. Going down right route. You what? brought up a very interesting point. My concern was my freedom of mobility. I don't like to be right on top because apparently you guys have this thing with me and my eyebrows. Because Duke brought it up a couple times there, early on in the show, and. Yeah, and actually now I'm getting a little brightness off your cheek. It's a little bit too. <laughs> it's a little bit too. Yeah. yeah. Makeup. 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 Okay, I'll work on that for next time. Duke, what's your input? Come on, tell me what I think I should get. Duke, I, mean, I think you're still. Well, that's a, that's a great mic, Duke. It's yeah, it's muted. fantastic mic, Duke. You're helping me out on that one. <laughs> one, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, we like yeah. the white noise effect. Though. That was really nice. Too. That was a uh, yeah. Okay, I actually, actually, I was trying to switch to my to my laptop mic just to show you the difference between it and the uh, yeah the ATR twenty one hundred, and I am running it through a little mixer. It's a uh, a little uh, Behringer three hundred two mixer uh, recommended by uh, originally by Bruce, but two or three of the regulars in in Tech and Coffee. And uh, I, I'm just going to say this, you know, uh, Bruce Bruce travels. Uh, he said one week a month. Uh, I recently went on vacation. Uh, I, man, there is no doubt in my mind that had I had this mic when I went on vacation, I would have packed it. Like Bruce said, the tripod is easily packed up. Uh, uh, what really impressed me when I opened up the package was the quality of the XLR cable. Okay, uh, playing in a band, I've I've ordered a lot of cables uh, over the internet over the years, and normally when you order a six dollar XLR cable, you get a six dollar XLR cable. Okay, and you kind of resist paying for the eighteen dollar XLR cables. This is definitely a heavy duty XLR cable, and this is one thing that we haven't talked about. We've talked about several different different kinds of mics, of popular mics that are used in Hangouts, but we haven't talked about prices. So uh, it, it, would price affect your buying decision, or are you, you know, are you the type that says, well, you know, I don't care that this mic is $300. If this mic is, this sounds the best, I'm going to spend $300 on it, or are you the type that says, you know, this is a real good mic for the money. This is probably all I need. 
Well, that you, you, you made me skip a beat there when you said three hundred dollars. I started to say, wait a minute, which one's three hundred dollars? Because that's uh, that might be a little bit out of my price range. Um, okay. You know, I used to think that uh, thirty dollars was 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 a bit pricey. That uh, Turtle Beach uh, X12 that I got, which is a very popular um, device that's pe by people who purchase game consoles like Xbox, they tend to get that. Um, but I might be willing to spend at least maybe starting out maybe fifty or a hundred dollars for for a device there. So um, you're currently using that laptop mic right now, right? No, no, I switched. Evidently, uh, I don't know what was wrong. I, I switched over to it, and obviously it wasn't working. That doesn't matter. I really, like I say, I'm using the ATR twenty one hundred all the time okay. now. And, yeah, you, you uh, have the Logitech uh, C910. Now, wouldn't that be more value for my dollar? I mean, you get a camera and a microphone. I mean, can I do that way and save a couple bucks? Well, well you know, I, I'm just going to say this. I've, I've always been impressed with the microphone on the C910, okay? I don't mm. think it's a bad microphone at all, but it's the type of microphone. It's a somewhat omnidirectional. It's basically going to pick up anything within the room, Okay. Mm. Uh, but and and with that said, you really if you're buying something more like a snowball, the Blue Yeti, uh, the ATR2100, or some sort of a mic uh, mixer combo, okay, you, you're you're not going to get the versatility out of a uh, or the quality out of a just a regular webcam mic as you are in in something more audio specific. I see. Now, now Joseph, let me illustrate for you. I'm talking to you now on the webcam mic in my Logitech C910. And you can hear the difference if you've been following me. I would not recommend a webcam mic for anybody who wants to do a podcast. If you want to do it for family Skype conversations and stuff like that, you know, well then that would be fine. But if you really want to have a better quality switch to something like I just did right now. Well, so, but let me tell you, Bruce, now, I, I'm using the C910, and it's all about proximity, because the camera is much closer here now, so I probably sound much better since I'm really close up, which I know Joseph yeah, likes the close-up look. Get really close. I, I do, I do, so maybe, maybe I should get a camera mic. Maybe a, maybe a microphone camera like this, so you could talk mm. like this and be up against it. That could be. Don't do it, Joseph. That, that might work for me. Yeah. Let me let me let me bring out the big boy, Blue wow. Yeti. Okay. Now going back to price, this Blue Yeti would retail somewhere between ninety and hundred dollars. Uh, the first I time I traveled that. with this mic in my carry-on bag, the TSA had to stop, open my bag, swab it, and scan it because it looks somewhat like a tactical nuclear device. I actually was about to say, <laughs> I feel like when I travel, I will be stopped. And looking the way I do, it seems like a high probability. I don't okay. know. No, this is a great microphone. I mean, it does come with a stand. It has four uh, different mic uh, connections on the back. You can choose from uh, uh, omnidirectional, bidirectional, uh, 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 unidirectional, or you can even do stereo. It also has a gain. On the, on the front, you can adjust the volume up and down. This also is USB only, but it does have a microphone jack in the bottom. Now, I'm, I'm not using this microphone right now, which is why I can handle it without making any noise. But I'm going to go ahead and switch from this ATR2100 to the Blue Yeti. Now, when I first started uh, investigating microphones, the reason I chose the Blue Yeti um, was because I watched some videos where they were comparing microphones like this. They were comparing in this video I watched a blue snowball, a blue Yeti, and a USB version of the microphone that Jeff was showing you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch right now to the blue Yeti. And uh, I am on the blue microphone. And this would be the normal way I would use the blue Yeti. I would be about three to four inches away talking on it. I'm not sure if you can tell much difference between the Blue Yeti and the ATR2100, but this is a condenser microphone. It's very sensitive. The bass, while it has a little rubber pad on the bottom, I'm barely tapping on my desk right now, but this, this microphone really picks it up. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the Blue Yeti. Again, that's about a $90 to $100 <laughs> street for price, and the, the ATR2100, $49 on Amazon. Yeah, so you know, I, I can tell you, Bruce, um, it took a little while for it to, um, to kind of um, 
stabilize the voice quality. I, you I know, didn't notice that. Yeah. It, it's, it, it was kind of weird because the, the Hangout, your voice sounded a little bit um, lighter, and then I would say probably about 30 seconds into it, your voice sounded rich again. It was very yeah, it sounded pretty good after a while. Like it, yeah. So do you think yeah. that, do you think, Jeff, that was a CPU thing, taking well, time I, to adjust? I, let, me, let me tell you what I think happened. I think this, uh, I'm switched in, uh, you know, if you've been in a hangout, you know the settings. I'm on the Blue Yeti right now. So when I went to my settings, it had switched back to the ATR2100. So now I'm on the Yeti. Mm -hmm. You can hear me? That's obviously the Yeti. And so I'm talking on the Yeti. Now I'm going to switch back to the uh, to the ATR2100. And so now I'm on the ATR2100, and you can hear I'm yeah. tapping on that. The difference you hear, that would be the comparison that you would get. Yeah, when you yeah. change, that's right. When you change, it uh, it has, it, I don't know, it fluctuates for, for a couple of seconds before it, it tries to Yeah, and that may be the function of the Hangout switch, you know. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Larry? Do you think uh, it's a CPU issue with the uh, with the Blue Yeti? No. Okay. Mm. Do you do you think the ATR twenty one hundred sounds a little bit smoother? Do you, you think it sounds better, or but do you think it's right at roughly the same? Roughly the same. Roughly the same. Yeah, it's roughly the same. Um, well, we're running kind of short in time right now, but um, you gave me a lot of helpful input. The only other thing I wanted to point out was dealing with USB. I know that there's some uh, digital virtual uh, things out there, such virtual DJs, which can aid in digital mixing as, all, as well as the digital audio cable. So instead of using a mixer, you can probably bring that up. But I know we're running short on time, so you guys have really helped me out with, with, uh, with bringing up really helpful hints. Um, the Blue Yeti is, is, uh, has uh, three voice patterns, but it's only USB. The Snowball by Jeff uh, does Two voice patterns, I believe, also you. It, it does does three, but uh, you know, if we all had to vote for you, what you should get, okay. I think what Bruce is holding up is what we'd all would repurchase, no doubt about it. Okay. I would not repurchase this. Okay. Well, you know, you brought up another thing that it's great as a starter Joseph, mic. Joseph, get the ATR twenty one hundred, and you can be a big boy broadcaster. Oh, uh, so do you think I should start with the just the ATR2100 first, and then maybe if I as I upgrade, I can upgrade to a mixer to it? To oh, hand? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I won't be able to purchase it now, but in two episodes' time, you'll be able to find out my decision. So when find this time, oh, well, you know, Thursday is our next time. episode of of Tech News Week, so it might be a little bit short to get one ordered hey, in. Hey, you know what? The other thing, you, you know, the other thing you could do, right? Do you have a do you have a Bluetooth headset that you use for your, your phone? Uh, yes, I do. You can buy a Bluetooth dongle, right, and put it into your laptop and see how that works. We should try that. Okay. That, that's I've, a, that's I've tried it. It's horrible. <laughs> I um, know it's horrible, but by <laughs> the way, by the way, if you if you do decide on the Yeti, I I can make you a nice deal on this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know. Ditto on that one. Okay, <laughs> sounds like people are trying to get rid of the Snowball and the Yeti, which are also a very popular market, especially by Apple, so recommended by Apple guys. So, Well, until uh, next time on uh, Tech News Week, this is Joe Youssef and signing out. You've been listening to Tech News Week, a tech and coffee weekly series where we get together and discuss all the news and happenings around the world of tech. We would love to have you join us at our Google Plus Hangout. The easiest way for you to do that is to go to techandcoffee.info where you'll find a link to our existing Hangout. You can also follow us on Twitter at techandcoffee1 as well as Facebook. You can expect to find a lot of news and information within the world of tech, as well as information about our upcoming shows and events. Have a great rest of the week, and thank you for listening to Tech News Week. Bye now.